Hi, I'm Sunil Kaushal. I'm the regional CEO of Standard Chartered Bank uh, based out of Dubai. What makes our business unique is, is the history. It's a long, rich history that we have, uh, the network that we have um, in, in very, very interesting markets, in high growth markets, the unique franchise and the long relationships that we have with our clients and customers really, really makes us unique. We're in a very unique position to manage people's wealth, their trade, uh, the, the capital flows that occur within, within the region. Uh, and there are very few organizations that uh, have a franchise or a history similar to ours and the capabilities similar to ours. Of course they do, of course they do. We operate in a community, uh, we are a living organization. Uh, it's our duty to give back uh, to the community, which we as Standard Chartered Bank uh, truly believe in it and actively do it. Uh, there are various programs from our flagship program, which is Seeing is Believing, which is uh, preventing uh, blindness, to restoring sight, to goal, which is uh, about, about adolescent uh, girls, uh, teaching them lifestyle um, uh, habits, skills, uh, and really, really prepare them for life. And while it may seem um, something rather simple uh, in many parts of the world, but in many emerging markets, they really don't get access to uh, even, even simple things that I just mentioned, about just preparing them to face life outside their families uh, when they grow up. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, get context, collect facts, analyze, then get the best people to execute and then focus on, on the results and the execution and track the execution uh, quite closely. Uh, I really I don't like any sort of procrastination or delays once you've gone through that process. First of all, it's very important to listen, uh, to understand. People come with a certain context, with certain preconceived notions. And each time you get into a bigger role, uh, a, a higher position. Uh, your previous skill sets are relevant, but relevant to an extent. You really need to kind of widen your horizons. Uh, and that's one thing that uh, I, would, I would recommend. Listen uh, and try to understand before you start jump into uh, any sort of action. The second one is uh, do maintain your connectivity with, with people on the ground. Uh, stay grounded. That's extremely important. Uh, I have seen uh, this quite a unique trait in people that when they come into leadership positions, uh, they, they keep criticizing their predecessor uh, and, and, um, uh, and uh, you know, are quite critical about the about, um, way, way, way things were done. So uh, I think that's, that's something that's a massive distraction. You should never indulge in that. Uh, focus on the job on hand. There have been several who have had an impact on me. And in my own personal view, there is nobody who's, who's perfect. Uh, there are people who've uh, really impressed me uh, with their business acumen, uh, their ability to articulate their vision and thoughts um, uh, very, very clearly, inspire troops, stay connected with people on the ground. There are yet others who have uh, demonstrated high levels of, of uh, patience, high levels of EQ, high levels of connectivity. Um, I think no one person is perfect. Uh, so I, I actually look for different qualities uh, in different people. And I've had the opportunity to work with some really great, really wonderful people. And, and I continuously look forward to people who, can, who I can pick up um, things that I can emulate. We as a management team uh, for the bank uh, have to make significant decisions and have made significant decisions over the last 15 to 18 months. Uh, some very, very significant ones in, in terms of the strategy, in terms of the balance sheet, in terms of just repositioning uh, the whole bank. But to me personally, uh, it, was, it was one of those roles. It was, it was my first role as a CEO when I was in Taiwan and it was it was a foreign country for me and we had to go in there and um, really get get uh, restructure the business and remove nearly 20 percent 
uh, of, of the uh, staff. It was a very difficult decision. Uh, it, was a, it was something that you know used to used to really trouble me every night when I used to come back home. That I was going to impact so many families in, in a negative way. But I took the decision to really go out, meet up with the impacted people, all of them, all of them. We had over 100 branches. So I was on the road for 15 days going to every center. And I was humbled by the response I got. People understood why we were doing it. Uh, it was an imperative to set the business right. It was a loss-making business. And, and the encouragement and the support I got from the people uh, really demonstrated to me that there is an understanding out there. People, people understand when you're making the right call, even if it impacts them.